Oh, I started my period on New Year's Day. And I just thought that was like a really like feminine way to start the new year. You know, oh. I feel like the intention of this year is like the the girl bossery of it all. And mm. I feel like really to kick that off with starting my period. I was like, you really can't get more like cunty than that. See, I ended mine. Mm. Um that time so so yours is more of like a new beginning like <laughs> yeah. a start of a new you know like out with the old and in with the new. yeah maybe maybe that's the yeah. i kind of like that i kind of like the little like flossy behind this yeah it's kind of cute yeah i'm gonna say it have sex with a scorpio i could glue bridge your dad i'm naked hold on <laughs> we will be flicking the beans to that <laughs> but she's tatted and i take meth is somebody in your house right now but you know what? Fuck your ass. Yeah, I had sex last night. You can make your own money. You can literally have your own job of your dreams. You can own your own house. You can own your own car. You can pay all your fucking own bills. So what is that man? That man has sex and a best friend. And that's it. I heard nothing but the truth. We're very close to being on the same cycle, but not quite. Yeah, we're just like a couple. We're like a week off. Yeah. And that's how I am with like uh, Madeline she's like a week after me mm. so we're like none of us are synced up mm. so like all of our emotions are not on the same vibe right now which is kind of a problem because i feel like then we're all in different vibes no totally always, yeah actually the other or i guess last week the week before my period i was so emotional like crying constantly at literally everything and then the night before my period it was like the night before christmas um, the night before my period on New Year's Eve, um, after Madeline went home, I like took a shower and then I got like really horny out of nowhere. And I was like, ugh, I know what happens next because this happens every time before my period. That's like my monthly like masturbation sesh is like the day before my period. <laughs> then the next morning I start every single time like clockwork. I'm like, well, I know what's coming after this one. <laughs> it's like pleasure than like just the worst week. no i feel like yeah i go through a whole mix when i'm on my period recently it's been like times i'll have like i'll be like really horny mm. but like i'm normally recently i've been like really angry <laughs> and oh like, and i don't know why like i like this is how it was when i was younger and i got my period it's like i just wanted to be mad mm. and i didn't know why yeah and then i had my period and it all just makes sense yeah it's just like a release of like that like i feel like once you get it you're either like done crying mm -hmm. you're done being angry you're done being hungry it's just like oh yeah okay yeah <laughs> now this makes sense yeah you're like i wasn't a little bitch yeah and i'm not a cunt yeah totally so i uh, didn't have sex one time in 2023 um that's a new world record for me that's a new world record. and um <laughs> i did masturbate well, I guess it was technically the first day of 2024 because it was like a 2.30 so in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so you started the year with a little bang. Mm. A little one. Yeah. A tiny well, one. Well, it was about that big. <laughs> <laughs> I would say average. I would say. Slightly <laughs> bigger than average, maybe. Well, I didn't. Okay, so I started my year with. Definitely fatter than average. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just like link it out? <laughs> the fuck? I think you can get on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, I did not actually start my year like that. I, um, I did actually do that though. Oh, but not, I didn't start my year. like Yeah. That. I started my year at work. Yeah. So that Tragic. was great. I was there for until 5 a.m. Yeah. So from, from t my first five hours of the year was working. That sucks. Yeah. My then, first day of work was today. And it was like getting shot in the foot because it wasn't like lethal, but it was very painful. Yeah. Coming back after like over a week of not working really sucked. Yeah. See, I, um, I've been working mm -hmm. to the point of like, I literally have met, I, I just told you this, but mental breakdown today. I yeah. was like, I literally came upstairs, put my Christmas decorations away and there was too many pillows in there. And I was like, I can't move them. And yeah. that was, <laughs> that was my 13th reason. Yeah. And I sat down and just bald <laughs> i was like i'm so exhausted every task seems so like big right now yeah. and i just feel like i have so many of them that they seem so overwhelming. overwhelming yeah and i know it'll be fine and i know it'll come together and i know like in 48 hours i'll have a different mentality but it's still like in the moment i'm like this yeah. is I, i'm just done yeah no the first five hours of the year i started um at work having to 
handhold basically children to do their jobs mm. so i was like and i was actually thinking in the moment i was like if this is any indication about how the year's gonna go let's hope it's not but i okay this, so, there's like, <laughs> so it's so twofold in how i'm feeling about it yeah so i'm feeling like i could it could be good in a sense of like okay this is my year to like grind it out like i'm yeah. starting the year on a grind like we're gonna grind it out like i learned a lot of lessons this past year of like when it comes to work and like just finding a voice and like people like something yeah, I want to yeah. do and like actually like enjoying my job. But then it's also like on the other side of like, you know, whatever. I, I've, there's like a lot of things. So I'm like, maybe this is the year like of the grind. Like, yeah. I'm going to like grind whatever out. It's like be prosperous on the other end. Yeah. Like, I don't know. That's what I was like trying to tell myself. I was like, cause this is awful. <laughs> yeah. No, I saw a uh, TikTok fortune teller lady or mm-hmm. I don't know what her special ability is. But uh, she was doing like a 2024 is going to be the year for it was like Libras. I think it was the air signs, basically, because of something. Some planet or some shit moved out the fucking way. And now it's time for us to shine, baby. That's basically the gist of it. But the thing was, it was like you feel like you've been kind of hitting a wall with your like your career or like the creative projects that you're working on, blah, blah, blah. But like. 2024 like this is your year like you're gonna finally make it all the hard work that you're doing it's gonna start paying off and like you just gotta keep working harder and like da 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 and I was like damn right and, damn fucking right and today I spent four hours not doing my real job and in cutting clips for our TikTok and I was shooting off TikToks and like bam <laughs> saw, bam bam I literally opened because, my TikTok once today and it was simply because someone sent me a TikTok and yeah. at the top I said it said you've been tagged in three things yep <laughs> Because I was like, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm doing that on my personal end and the progress is so evidently happening. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why am I not like I'm posting on TikTok on ours, but it's so irregular that it's not catching the algorithm or anything. And I'm like, I like have the most power with this app to build Mm -hmm. an audience with this Mm -hmm. thing. Because quite frankly, they're not going to come from just like, word of mouth at, at the rate that they would at mm-hmm. like a tiktok and i'm like so if anybody's hindering the growth of this it's me like it's on my shoulders because i'm running this thing so i'm like if you're not posting what are you doing and no. why are you cutting these clips every single week and not pushing them out mm-hmm. and it's like simply because like i'm not changing the format downloading them and airdropping them to my phone because like this is so many steps no but now i'm that. like but now i'm like but you have no excuse because if you want this thing to grow fucking do it and so then i, I like took my meds today i sat down and i was like all right let's get into it and i cut 17 clips <laughs> and i'm go- i'm like three a day baby three no, a day every day that's i've what been we're doing <laughs> that was like my thing too about like or like using like instagram and stuff i'm like okay yeah. this is literally on you like you yeah. gotta start fucking doing this shit like yes like life is hard but like also taking 15 minutes but to also post i sit on my phone so long like, every day why can't i just do it on that i think my biggest thing is that like Okay, so Tuesdays a day we record. Also, our YouTube goes out, right? Yeah. So, like, I'm doing stuff for the YouTube typically all day. Today was very different. Yeah. But, like, so I'm, like, so ingrained in that. And then by the time it comes out, I don't even give a fuck anymore because I'm, like... Well, that's how I have been for the podcast. Right. I edit on Wednesday. It goes out Thursday. And then YouTube goes out Friday. Right, so you don't care anymore. I don't give a fuck. And then Thursday <laughs> is legitimately my only day off mm-hmm. from, like, everything. And honestly... I should clean my house, but I don't. I genuinely just sleep and do nothing because I'm like yeah. so mentally exhausted. So then I honestly forget until it's like really late. And I'm like, well, now it's fucking stupid because it's 9 yeah. p.m. And I'm like, no, you still need to fucking yeah, yeah, do yeah, yeah. it. Like, no, that's how I've, I was like, I am like setting that precedent for this year. I'm like, you just got to fucking do it. Yes. Like, like that's, that's the thing. Like, it's OK. And like we say it all the time for like men, like if they wanted to, they would. Yeah. Like for yourself, literally, if you wanted to, you also would. Yeah. So like it, it there's a twofold on this. Yeah. You know what you I mean? You can't like, really have like the double standard for it. Yeah. Like, like you can't have that standard for other people, men or not, and not yeah. have it for yourself. No, literally, like if you genuinely want to do something, you will do it. And yeah. if you don't want to, you won't do it. Like it, mm-hmm. it just is what it is. And yeah. that's what I, this year though, like I kind of have some like more realistic expectations i think than i did last year yeah and not that like we need to sit here and go through them but like just like my biggest one is living more in the moment and i think that like which i talk about a lot and i i talk about a lot mm-hmm. with you but it's like actually doing it like i have a whole like desk i got a whole new desk that i'm gonna have up here that nice. i like, ordered and everything it's like coming so i'm like okay i'm gonna make it more like an office space yeah and on it i have like a desk like calendar 
And I literally today, literally today, I was like <coughs> sitting there like as I was editing these TikToks, I was like, yo, I need a big calendar on the wall so I can see it. Yeah. If I have this little planner bullshit, I'm not going to look at that. I, I need it in my face mm-hmm. right as I'm working, like constant reminder. Like I need to order that. I want to set like a whole vibe up here yeah. so it's like even if i don't have to like physically sit down and do work for the podcast i can still come and like have a place of like journaling and a place to like just intention be, yeah like yeah. be intentional so i actually have it downstairs i got it at target mm. it, they were like 12 dollars, but i got it at target and it's downstairs on my kitchen table right now and every single day i want to write in there like one thing that i enjoyed of the day mm. to like sit and reflect and i want to start like reflecting on every single day to like be more present and be more intentional with my time. Yeah. Because I think I'm super lackadaisical about my time, which comes with like the territory of working all the time with this and real job and having a house. Like, I don't know. Like, it's yeah. just like life, right? Yeah. But I think that it's... But then the year goes by and you're like, what did I do? Right. Or not even what did I do, but like, how did I live? Because I, I went through like my photos and shit from this year because I, I keep seeing all these people post on TikTok of like every month and it's like videos and their lives are like, wow, like they're out there doing shit not even going on big vacations or whatever just like literally just like going outside and right. like doing stuff and i was like i had to, there was a point in this year where i was very good about like every day i was doing something whether that was like going thrifting going running like you know doing something that was like adding to my life and then the latter half of the year it just like dipped off mm-hmm. into like the and the year went by like that because I was just like not doing anything. Yeah. And so that's so such like a good idea because it's like reflecting on like what you've accomplished or like even just like that feeling that you had that day or whatever and like living in the moment because the moment goes by so fast. Right. And that's like I just got it so I can like write down a quick little thing. Like honestly, yesterday I went to the gym and I was like the best I lifted since I had my surgery. Mm. Like the heaviest deadlift I did. Like I felt so good in the whole workout. And that's what I literally wrote. Like it's something so simple and it doesn't mean much in the grand scheme of like life. But Mm -hmm. I was like, no, because I want to look back on the year and be like, no, you did something valuable every day, whether it was getting a coffee or just Mm -hmm. like, but like finding little things to enjoy. Cause I'm like, you need to enjoy now. Yeah. But that's like uh, the whole like little desk thing that I want to do is like, have it be like a good place to like come and be productive and like, grateful and have a time to just not be like so what did i do yeah or like there doesn't have to be like an overarching lesson of the year that you have to be like okay well i came out of this year learning yeah this. yeah yeah it was like no i just like got to enjoy every day i enjoyed the year yeah yeah like i got to I enjoy didn't it every day hate my life every day yeah and yeah. i think that's like what i don't know but that's like my little idea and i actually talked to a friend at work about it and she does a jar every year where she just like writes a little thing on a post-it note mm-hmm. and like crumbles it up and throws it in the jar. And then at the end of the year, she like goes and like reads them all. Oh, that's cool. Which is like less space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. I like that idea. I was like um, thinking, because like my nieces are getting older. They're not old, but they're getting older. And I was like thinking like after Christmas this year, like I want to start doing something that like they can have when they're older Mm -hmm. like they're 18 or whatever and so like i want to start like writing them letters and just like keeping those to give to them when they're like old about like my life and the shit that like i did or whatever and not even just like my life but like things i learned and like almost like kind of how the podcast is but like putting that on paper or whatever because like i don't know not that they're i just feel like they might be cringed out by us like by that age like they're yeah. like oh they're 45 and still well just be podcast. like my aunt emmy also yeah, yeah, yeah. went through this and they yeah, did yeah. these things and they and it's yeah. just like like i don't know having like an older person in your life kind of like that isn't your parents yeah, but you're like, always gonna look up to you like they're your aunt. like yeah you're their aunt yeah totally and so i don't know i was just like i need to get better at at like doing things like that because i feel like shit like that is so meaningful like later I will say I think it really is because when I studied abroad I journaled not every day but like weekly mm-hmm. I would journal and I would date it and like literally down to like the nitty-gritty of like conversations or things that I did or like how I felt in the moment like what it looked like to me and like described all the things and like I it sounds dumb but I honestly love look, like going back and reading no it's it so cool like it actually is really cool yeah. I'm not gonna lie so yeah. I think that is a cool idea yeah it's so cool and like even <clears throat> yeah to just do it for yourself and like just re- reflect on like the person you were or like it, it is funny to to like go back and be like oh that's what you were mad about like oh yeah. my god 
like move on bitch like no. i like i like being able to like go back and look at that from like a later perspective after you've been through it and to be able to reflect and be like okay it wasn't that bad like you got through it and if you did that like now you can kind of do anything well that's kind of like the whole point of like the I keep saying the desk because I think mm-hmm. that's the area I want to create of like just being able to journal and being able to go back and be like like next year being yeah. able to like sit down and being able to like read the journal or like the notes that I made about how I felt in that time or whatever and being like okay but like look how far you came or like, yeah. what, what, like this situation you thought was horrible in this moment but like it's better than you could have expected or like okay that did actually get really fucking shitty but yeah like whatever like I just I think it's important like as you get older to like do those things totally because when I was younger, I took it for granted. But now I think yeah. it's like time to be like, okay, mm-hmm. start like, I don't want to say like start loving life, but I think like you just start finding little things in life to love mm-hmm. is truly what it is. Because before it's just like you could do anything and like you're invincible because you're 16. It doesn't yeah. matter. And like, well, and you fuck you, your parents and you like are, all things. You are like so young that like time doesn't go as fast. And now that we're older, it's like, every year kind of just blends into the next because it, we don't have those this big... This so fast. Yeah, we don't have those big, like, changes. Like, when you're younger, where it's like, okay, now you're in the next grade. So now you're older, and you, like, look forward to getting older. Mm-hmm. And now I'm like, pump the brakes. Pump the brakes, like, four years from 30. Whoa, I yeah. just graduated college. What are you talking about? And yeah. then it's like, wait, no, that was, like, a while ago. No, when my, when I was home for <laughs> Christmas, like, my mom and I had this whole conversation. Like, we honestly... It was, like, nice. My mom, like... The night I got home, my mom stayed up, even though she had to go to work. Like, we stayed up and we just, like, gossiped. Like, it was, mm-hmm. like, old times. Like, she's telling me the tea. I'm telling her the tea. Like, we're just, like, going back and forth. And then the day that I left, uh, my dad was at work. And her and I had, like, this really long conversation where we both just, like, ended up crying to each mm-hmm. other about, like, life. And just, like, it's crazy because, like, what I'm going through. And honestly, I think, like, this podcast helps her a lot <laughs> in, like, a weird way. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to cry now. But, like, in a weird way because, like, I think that she does listen to this and I'm sure like your mom feels this way too, but like maybe doesn't say it is like, oh shit. Like they're actually a lot more wise than I was at that age. Or like they actually have a lot more that like they're thinking about. Like she always tells me like, I'm so happy that you have a voice that I didn't have until I was older. Mm. And like, you know, we talk about like our depression and the things that we go through and like our mental health. And like so my parents got me like all these like mental health books from for Christmas. <laughs> and I was like, God, I was, like, like, they like just they, like, they're like sliding. Oh, like you the really table, think like, like they got us each that. of us like they got all of us socks that like uh supported a foundation and mom oh, was like mental so health cute. awareness and yeah stuff. And I was, like that's so cute because like i mean we all have mental health that we do yeah, like, yeah but i don't think like as our parents like they ever dealt with it or had the need or ability to deal with it because it was not a common thing right yeah and she was just sitting there and she was like i just like what am i doing with my life like i don't know and like you think that like our parents wouldn't deal with that because like she's had, they've, they've she's had yeah. her kids like they're the kids are out of the house they're doing great yeah, like, yeah, yeah she has a job like they're on the road to retirement and they have all these things and like she's just still dealing with the same shit that we're dealing with mm-hmm. and i was like damn and, like we just sat there and like cried about it and like yeah. talked about it and everything and like honestly together we were just kind of like but okay. isn't that like a comforting feeling though it to was. know that like it's okay that right now like it, everybody feels like you should have it figured out but even people who are you know double our age still are figuring shit out right and mm. make it it's so much it's so much more comforting to know that like really nobody has it all figured out no like, it was comforting for me in that regard too and i think it was comforting for her to know that, like i also am feeling the same way mm-hmm. and then like we kind of just like talked about like things we could do to be like better and like yeah. growing and like how like she could be more active like in her friends lives or yeah. like her sister's lives or like even for me to do the same thing because I'm like I feel really bad that like I'm not involved in like your life mm-hmm. day to day or like my sister's life day to day like that shit sucks yeah like, at times so it was just like I don't know it was like actually cool to like sit and like reflect with my mom and like have that like really mature like conversation of just like life fucking sucks yeah and she's like I know dude <laughs> like yeah yeah it does like I don't know there's something like kind of bittersweet about that yeah it's like um i talk about this with my siblings but like it is really cool when you hit that age where your parents become peers and not really like overarching like beings of like order in your life they just become people that like respect you and you can just talk to and not feel like 
everything has to be this like life lesson or like mm. oh well back in my day like it's just like ha- it's like two adults just having conversation and that's something that's like really special that I never thought about when I was younger <clears throat> in terms of like a relationship with my parents but I'm really happy that like there is a continuation of growth and relationship there and mm-hmm. it doesn't just stop like as with that like mom daughter relationship like it transforms into like a friendship later in life and like I always thought it was weird when girls were younger and they're like besties with their mom because I was like mm, kind of weird that your mom's like so obsessed with your life but I'm so grateful that my mom like let me like have my childhood and like do my own thing and like whatever and now that I'm older we can kind of like talk and get to know each other because like we weren't always like mm-hmm thick as thieves or whatever my mom and i like me and my mom were always really close yeah like always really close because like we would do everything together legit until i moved yeah like we did everything together like we were each other's best friends always my entire life so like honestly like me moving this far away has been like a whole adjustment because like we we were always just there like even when i was in college like for a while like i was only 45 minutes away Mm -hmm. so like whatever and then i lived in their house yeah so like we always had that like time and those moments and like it was always so special so like i was that person that was like always really close with my mom but now like to grow as we're growing it's sometimes hard because that was obviously like a very immature relationship that i have with my mom right but like right now it's so much more of like an adult and like I can help her and like I can give her more advice and she can give me advice. It's less like take, take, take and it's more mutual. Yeah. Yeah. Like now is that like more peer like friendship or Mm -hmm. like before we were really close, but she was my mom. Right. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So like it still was like we still had that like really good bond, but she was my mom. Yeah. And now it's like I can literally say anything and she can say anything and like we can go back and forth with each other and like her even too, like being able to have that ability to like say some things about like her relationships Mm -hmm. that like before obviously couldn't really talk about because like it's supposed to be perfect yeah there's a difference yeah totally and now it's like god let me say yeah (laughs) (laughs) i don't know i think that this past year has been growth specifically for me like a lot like a lot like, i don't mm. know what it is but like turning 25 dude, it's that frontal lobe i'm like, telling you like when that shit develops and like it sounds like we're being dramatic, but it is the weirdest thing. Like the day you turn 25, you start literally looking at life differently and yeah. looking at yourself differently mm-hmm. and like having that internal moment of like realization where it's like, OK, who do I want to be? Mm-hmm. What am I trying to become? How am I going to contribute to society? Like, what do I want my mark on the world to be like? It is so much deeper than you expect it to be and it doesn't even have to be like this like sit down moment where you really think about it it's just like constant thoughts in your head of like personally for me i think like and this is something that was kind of like wrapping full circle of like me talking to my mom about is like this past year like the 25 26 like year for me is like i learned boundaries within myself for mm. people but like not a boundary as in like this is my boundary for you and you need to follow yeah. it. It was like actually being like, this is a boundary for myself mm-hmm. and you can act however you want. Right. That's cool. But I'm going I don't to, have to accept it. Yeah. I'm going to react in a way that is like fitting for me. Right. Like that was like this past year, I think is like truly yeah. what I've learned. Like overarching theme. If that's what I had to put it as is mm-hmm. that. Yeah. And like even going to like work and like being in an environment that like legitimately I could party every single day mm-hmm. and like throw my life and money away. If I truly wanted to like that's, yeah how my job is um and like having that boundary and then like it's actually been cool too because like a lot of them are younger but like them people like respecting it because it's like such a hard boundary yeah it's like a weird thing to like actually see it like reciprocated Mm -hmm. so like i don't know it was cool yeah i think mine was definitely like on similar notes but just like respecting myself Mm -hmm. and that took shape in like a lot of different things whether that was like respecting my goals and like following through with them with that marathon or like respecting my body with like my sobriety or it was like respecting my like creativity and like believing in myself and like this sounds so stupid but literally just like posting my shit on tiktok even if it's dumb and even if like it doesn't do good but it's just like respecting the idea in the moment to come up with that and just shoot it out there and like doing stuff like that has really led me to liking myself 
which I haven't done mm-hmm. basically my whole life. I haven't really liked myself because I don't think I was ever living in my truest version of me. And this past year was very much just like a season of like learning to do for me the things that I wanted to do while also like upholding like my morals and my like I don't want to use the word belief because I feel like that gets connected to like religion a lot with it's not what I'm talking about but like the way that I want to live my life and just Mm -hmm. like respecting that and like sticking to it and not bending for other people even my own family Mm -hmm. you know and and even like my political ideology and like my social beliefs and everything it's like I don't give a fuck anymore because like I'm going to respect me and what I want and how I believe and like I really don't give a fuck what you have to say about it or what you think is good for me Mm -hmm. because you're not in my brain and this is what is doing it for me right now yeah so like that was a difficult thing for me to do this year but um I really do think it comes with that 25 it's like weird it's like <laughs> it's like that 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 realization of self really comes mm-hmm. into play once that frontal well, lobe and also develops. I think too like the way that you know society is like brought us up is to like <clears throat> rely on other people totally. or like to be able to like always have that person or like you know even too it's like you're always gonna find that partner and they're gonna take care of you in your 20s and like for us we don't have that for us it's just simply us you know what i mean so like i think that's has a lot to do with it too like you Mm -hmm. have to literally think for yourself and you have to fend for yourself and you have to have those boundaries for yourself and you have to like do all those things that like i think from watching people really close in my life that they're only realizing it now being later in life Mm -hmm. like older than us meaning and like but they also had that person the whole time there like picking up that part of them that they never had to like develop yeah Yeah. where like we have to like you and i legitimately have to and any any other person i'm not saying like if you're single and you're doing everything on your own you're paying all your bills you're doing all your own things like you're working for yourself like legitimately grinding for yourself you have to create boundaries and you have to create those things mm-hmm. for yourself because no one else is there to pick that up. Totally. Where like, and no one else is going to sit there and defend you and, and like hold your hand through life and be like, Hey, you don't have to like, you know, do X, Y, and Z because I'll do it for you. Right. And like, Oh, I'm, I'm down. Like, to I'll under- give you that validation. Yeah. And I'll, I'll be that person who like you can't the shoulder to cry on it's like when you don't have that like you have to find that in you right and that's a really hard thing to come to terms with well it's even like as something as simple like putting it into like actual tangible terms it's like if you or i don't have 200 dollars for rent we legitimately don't have 200 dollars for rent yeah babes that eviction notice is popping up on yeah the door. <laughs> like, like i legitimately just don't have it we're yeah. like a lot of other people could look at said partner yeah. or whatever if they if they're in a relationship and they'll be like oh i got you mm-hmm. and there's no consequence to it yeah but for us it's like a whole different thing and i think like learning that and then like having to learn your voice and having to learn like your boundaries and mm-hmm. being there for yourself comes a lot later in life it does but since we don't have that mm-hmm. we're learning it now which i think is going to just be a great thing for us going forward but yeah even like talking with my sister like being home and like we went to the gym and like we had a really really like good conversation at the gym because it was like you know we're working out like together and it was like away from everybody who could have like listening ears and like just that too of being like her in her 30s being like I'm actually starting to love myself now and not just like love for other people Mm -hmm. and I'm starting to love me because of whatever and I'm like damn that's sad like low key like but also it's sad for me too because I feel the same way like I don't know it's like yeah I don't know realizing that we're all in life and I think this past year for a lot of people was like growth I really do feel like Mm -hmm. that because I see like all over TikTok and like maybe it's just like those side that I'm on right it was like a growth year and hopefully this year we can all like prosper and like reap the benefits of our growth this past year yeah that's what I'm hoping at least yeah that's what the tarot card readers keep telling us on TikTok I'm telling you it's Libra's it's Libra's year (laughs) it's Libra Gemini Aquarius yeah Virgo is Virgo in your sign no earth I don't know. I don't know that that much about it. I'm a fire sign. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'm going to burn this bitch down regardless, I guess. (laughs) I think they said, like, something for yours. It was, like, the year of, like, like not taking shit anymore. Yeah. The fire signs are coming in. 
they're gonna be fierce and like and like really like indulge in that side of their sign and just yeah. like no more fucks given vibes and i was like okay yeah so just watch out for me yeah i'm gonna burn your house down apparently yeah and apparently i'm gonna be like the new van gogh or something i don't know <laughs> it was like your creative juices are gonna be flowing you're like well they already are day two <laughs> i know i'm like let's get into it um yeah so with the season of 2024 uh i was seeing all over tiktok people doing ins and outs and for their 2024 and a lot of them had to do with like clothing trends or makeup trends or house trends or whatever and i'm like i'm kind of over the consumerism of it all um because i just can't keep up at this point i mean that's kind of why i've resulted to thrifting because i'm like at this point i'm not i'm gonna go back to the trends of like 40 years ago Mm -hmm. (laughs) and follow that shit because i'm like i don't care to keep up with all the shit anymore but i did write down a bunch of not a bunch, but a couple of like my quote ins and outs for 2024. So I just figured like we could go through some of those. Um, and they're kind of dumb, but yeah, I didn't do serious <clears throat> ones if I'm being honest with yeah. you. Cause you said you weren't doing serious ones. Um, yeah. I, I could have done, I could have done real serious. Yeah, ones, no, but. me too. But I was like, I feel like we've kind of, I felt like that at the beginning of the episode, that would be yeah. what like more of a reflection. Mm-hmm. So I was like, we can save this for just kind of goofy shit. Um, I say we go in for out back and forth. So like I'll do an in and then I'll do an out and then you do an in and then you do okay, an perfect. out. Okay. So ins, uh, Coke zero. Mm. And that was my in middle to end of 2023, but it's in all the way 2024. I mean, I'm ordering it at restaurants. I'm ordering it at drive throughs I'm buying it for my house. Like it is everywhere all at once. Like that's, I think Coke Zero is the move. Um, I'm still, I still, you got me hooked on Diet Coke this past year. Um, and I'm here for yeah. it. Yeah. I'm here for it. I still like a good Diet Coke. I like a Diet Coke from McDonald's everywhere else. I'm getting Coke Zero. But Coke Zero, it. yeah. Mm, so good. At work, we have Diet Coke, so I'm going to take what I can get. Mm-hmm. But a Coke Zero hits different. It's just so good. Um, an out, I have paying taxes slash debts. I just feel like 2024, it's kind of the year of like, fuck the government. Yeah. Fuck the war funding i'm kind of like mm, yeah i, I don't I'm- really care that much and not that i'm not going to pay my taxes because like i don't want to go to jail but i'm just like ugh. who cares yeah fuck it that's all like <laughs> that's like the nine million people that didn't pay back their student loan debt the first t- i'm months. so here for that i didn't i yeah. didn't even know i had to yeah i'll be honest didn't even know yeah my, i told my mom that and she looked at me with wide eyes and i was like me and nine thousand other people mom well a lot of people are going to do that million for tax season because to like protest like mm-hmm. like our government essentially well i'm gonna tell you this i'm gonna pay my taxes well i know and that's the issue and that's why it's not gonna really work because too many of us are little bitches and are scared but i'm like i'm not going to jail but my student loan payment i don't i yeah. honest i genuinely do not have the extra 400 to pay it so yeah they actually cannot get it either pay me more or like i genuinely sorry i genuinely actually cannot afford yeah, it yeah it's like, either i will literally not be able to eat <clears throat> yeah and so. that's what I'm on kind of with my credit card too. Like I do want to pay that off, but I'm also not going to let that kill me because I can't make more than my minimum payment. Like I'm not going to like freak out that's, and yes. like want to die. Like I'm sorry, I need food yeah. and I'm tired of eating noodles yeah. and chicken nuggets every day. Yeah. I'm tired of it. That's what I ate for dinner last night. Noodles and chicken nuggets. Uh, that's that's <laughs> the vibes. I know. I know. Um, okay. So my in is being beyond blunt. I'm tired of the fucking sugar coat. What? Being beyond blunt. Like I. Blunt. Yes. Like it's an in. I thought you said blonde. And I was like, what does that mean? A. B. (laughs) I kind of know what that means if we're talking about girls in the South. Because some people are past blonde. Like, it's giving grandma. Yeah, no. No. I meant (laughs) blunt. blunt. Like, like, I'm tired of the sugar coating. I'm tired of, like, the cute niceness. Like, everyone being, like, the cute, girly, like, laid back. No. Fuck you. Fuck your mom. I've been on that on my comments on TikTok recently. Because Mm. some girl came for me. Because I posted a video making fun of my own lip flip okay i literally made fun of my own lip flip because i couldn't smile with it and she goes she was like oh coming from the girl with the bad bangs or something and then uh somebody responded and they were like oh that was kind of rude like what the fuck and she was like well i've never been rude before and this is the first time i felt like i need to say something because this girl is just making fun of people with insecurities and the person responded was like she's making fun of herself and then i responded and i was like I don't know. You kind of seem like a bitch to me. And I was just like, well, where did that come from? <laughs> like, as I'm saying, like, I'm done with I'm done with people being stupid in this world. I'm yeah, done with people, like, like, just not having any respect for anything. And like, 
Yeah, there's a difference between like being a cunt while you're like being blunt or like there's a respectful way to do it. But yeah. like, I'm tired of like, but also I'm going to stick up for myself this year. Yeah. Like, I'm tired of sugar coating the shit. I'm mm-hmm. tired of, I'm tired of it. And I don't want you to do it either. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. Tell me straight up. That's how I want. Yeah. Um, My out is cutting my own food at a restaurant. And I know that this sounds insane, but like, if you get a salad and they give you a whole fucking wedge. Yeah. No, I don't want to cut it. Or an avocado. Like they give you a half of an avocado Why? and don't like, chop it up. What? No. This is kind of on that same vibe, but when you get a dish that has shellfish in it, I was about to say and they shrimp. keep the tails. I on was it, actually about to tell you shrimp, or they keep all of the shell yes. in its pasta. Yeah, why? Why? I why? <laughs> or like you get yeah, you get like a, a whole like clam bake or something, and like all the clams. Uh, why? It's in pasta. And why? Yes, because if it was like a if it was like a like I'm going to a seafood boil. That's part of the experience, right? It's like the, deshelling. It's it. the boil, but not the dish. But why am I? Why is it served? over a bed of red sauce and there is shells and shit that you want me to now use my hands and then put it back in and then toss it up by the time i get to it, the shit's gonna be cold right i'm tired of it i'm not take no. it and i get i get the point is so like you see it's like it's fresh it's not well and it's whatever. like the presentation it looks like whatever i don't give a fuck i don't want a big dirty clamshell on my no, noodles i'm tired of cutting my shit <laughs> i t- agree like okay if i, I order agree. a steak understandable All salads should be chopped salads and tossed and tossed like do not bring me a whole fucking giant piece of romaine lettuce and then like what am i supposed to do like fold it 19 That's what times I'm i also don't want to go to a fucking place and then be like trusting on the side if it's to go on the side yeah if not put that bitch on there yeah toss it yourself mm-hmm. what am i pay- what am i paying you 20 dollars for yeah no, I'm over it. It's because of all the almond people in the world have ruined that for us. And they now well, want everything on the fucking Well, side. when I order something at a restaurant, I want it to come out and my fork to go immediately in it. Right. I don't want I'm any saying. prep. I don't want yeah. any prep on my end. I agree. Um, In puzzles. I. I'm dead. Wait, this kind of goes with my next in. Really? Yeah, keep going. <laughs> so when I was. Me and my mom, like one of the ways that we bond is over a puzzle. Mm. We love puzzles. I did two or three puzzles while i was home i got a puzzle for christmas i fucking love puzzles and i'm like i never do these just like by myself at home because i never think to buy them but when i was at five below the other day they had puzzles for like three bucks and i'm like i need to start buying more of these and doing more puzzles more often because i fucking love you get them at goodwill for like 50 cents too i know but sometimes they don't have all the pieces and then that makes me so angry because you don't know until you're done that's true um but yes, I bought puzzles secondhand before, but every single time it's missing like one or two pieces and then that kills me. I'm yeah. like, no, but I'm like puzzles are in mind games are in like just doing little dumb things like that. Like I'm obsessed for 2024 out. However, is um, Uber Eats slash DoorDash. Mm. I'm going to do that as sparingly as humanly possible because this year, like it's get my money up year yeah. you know what i mean and yeah. that is a money drainer that is a uh, that is a blender for your cash yes it, it just goes straight to the garbage disposal i that actually is like one of my like mental <clears throat> goals this year yeah. is to like not eat out as much and if i do like at work like go to a restaurant have an experience have it be fun why am i ordering yes. a fast food place on an app where a guy brings it to me with an extra ten dollars added to it so stupid no yesterday i'm not gonna lie i did actually uber eats a smoothie to work because i didn't have time to eat and i was starving mm-hmm. so there was like in a pinch but i i was like okay this is a necessity at this moment it's not because like i'm being lazy and i can't go get it like i physically cannot go get this right and I genuinely am not allowed to eat anything else right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was my only way. Exactly. Well, that's kind of how I'm going to treat it. It's yeah. like if it's a last resort or if it's like it makes sense for the moment. Right. But like, I mean, you know where I live currently. Right. There's literally 12 but even so, fast even food so, restaurants. I mean, if I was like going to do this today and I was like, no, if you're going to do that, you're going to go to the grocery store yeah. and you're going to get food instead. Yeah. And you're, that way you have three days of meals. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Okay, so my in actually goes with Emily's in, which is fun. Okay. But I said like little quiet hobbies. So like reading. I have quiet time as one of mine. Stop it. Like We're reading. We're on our granny shit this I year. I am. I really I am. Love I'm, it. I want to be a granny. Yeah. I, me and my robe. <laughs> yes. I want to be in bed by I nine. I got a new robe for Christmas. Uh, you die. It's so good. No, I got. 
Oh, I want to get like a bigger one, but I have like a thin one right now that I've been like rocking and I mm. love it. But okay, so little quiet hobbies, but like I want them to be little things I do for myself and I don't need to like tell you about them. Like yes. a book that I'm reading, crocheting, Oh, I got two new books. Making, I'll give them to you after like, I'm done. Right, like we can share, we can like understand like, oh, mm-hmm. cute, right? But like I don't need to be like posting all over social media that I yeah. crocheted something. Like they're going to have all these, they had like these cute little like small like um, like stitched type like pictures if that mm-hmm. makes sense and i was like that's so cute and i literally bought it and i've been doing it when i'm like watching tv yeah what, like one for less phone time yeah and two because like i should be doing stuff like that mm-hmm. like it shouldn't be and I, you don't have to know about it yeah i might share it with you but mm-hmm. like i don't want recognition for the quiet hobby that i'm doing yes that's the point of it. yes 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 um okay out cleaning my own house i'm over it honestly <laughs> This is this comes in with like you know this kind of goes on the, uh, this other spectrum of Emily's out of like saving the money. Yeah, I, I'm getting You're to like a, this is one thing I want to invest in. Yeah, and I don't think it's gonna happen this year because budgeting reasons. Yeah, but at some point I want to have a house cleaner. I'm sorry about it. I I'll clean your house if you pay me. Listen, I'm I, really good at it. I yeah, she is actually <laughs> really good at. My biggest thing though is that like my job is cleaning yeah i, I feel like that. La- literally last night i cleaned the bar for four hours mm-hmm. the last thing i cared about coming home to do is clean my own fucking house mm-hmm. i don't care i yeah. genuinely do not care so i want a house cleaner yeah and like i i feel like time is money what am i gonna do with that extra time that i'm not cleaning maybe take a nap yeah maybe go to the gym mm-hmm. but like cleaning a toilet sounds dreadful yeah i feel that that's my out yeah i get that i was uh, is it truly gonna be out for me no because i can't afford it but good, i want it to a be good dream to but have. i want it to be yeah, out <laughs> i feel that i feel that um one of my ins is dinner parties specifically you're me, me hosting literally them. lying Did you say that? Yes. <laughs> okay i have an extra in but literally my fourth in was dinner parties <laughs> So, Emily, Emily, look. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't say quiet time because I was like, well, that's the same as quiet hobby. Like, I'm just like, like, you know, private time to like do my own thing and like not be. Uh, like, yeah. Out no, right. It's it. like, yeah, just your yeah. thing. Dinner parties is literally <laughs> on my list. I'm dead. No, because I want. OK, so I pitched this idea to like a couple of girls in our friend group last year. And I was like, I want to do like quarterly like supper parties that are themed and like have like these fun things but like at the time two of us were in apartments like it just didn't make sense for the spaces that we had but now that i am moving into this house that has like a true entertaining space Mm -hmm. like on the main floor where it's like the kitchen's in the middle it's like an open living area and there's like a dining spot so there's plenty of places for people to sit and eat and whatever and i Ugh, I love cooking and I love entertaining and me and my roommate like in college like threw parties all the time like we love doing that and like me and all my roommates were always hosting the pregames and shit and so I'm like but now that we're older like I want to have like dinner parties where it's like good music playing the lightings the vibes we kind of get dressed up but it's like not doing too much mm-hmm. and we just like have fun fucking nights and like it's centered around the theme of food and friendship and like yes ugh that's that's the vibe i'm on for this year no literally we're on our granny shit yes. but i literally said the same thing dinner parties is such an adult thing yes it's like oh no we don't want to have parties but i don't want to have dinner parties. Like, i don't want to go out i don't really feel like yes. all the money but yes. like, i'm down to like give you like 50 bucks like we all get pitch in money for the food yeah and or whatever. we just like switch off hosting like, right like that's yeah. so fun because like even i feel like once i have like my house the way i actually like it mm-hmm. it'd be fun yeah totally like there's yeah. enough room no 100 uh, percent. um my out however is amazon decor and what i mean by this it's not like the the essentials okay like it's the like, shelvings exactly yeah. like there's shit like that that it makes sense to get off of amazon i'm talking about like the amazon storefront girlies on tiktok where their whole house is beige and white and gray and sad and everything's smooth and everything looks the same and everybody's house looks the same i'm over it like i think there's a time and place for little pieces from amazon because of course like it's cheap and it's easy and or like the desk i just bought off amazon right but like you don't need to get all of your decor from amazon Mm -hmm. and like i've learned that like it's hard to get pieces and to come across pieces but there's cheap ways to do it and 
they have so much more character they have so much more conversations to be had around it your house doesn't look like anybody else's house and like it's just way also it's way better for the environment like I just you're thrifting ask, and you're like i think finding it's more fun to have things in your house that like represent you and i'd rather take the time to make my house feel like me than it to just be like thrown together because i saw someone's amazon storefront and yeah bought it all. yeah totally so like i'm just over that vibe for 2024 love that yeah okay so my in is doing the bare minimum and this mm. might be that might have been my whole theme on 2023 that was like <laughs> no 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 but this is this is what i'm meaning i want to get into it because it sounds very contradictory <laughs> to the beginning part of our episode yeah. of being like we're gonna grind this year no 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 yeah yeah i'm saying doing the bare minimum in my actual job and doing the bare minimum in other people's lives like <laughs> <laughs> Like I can't out myself, but that's literally me every day. No, work. but like <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I did my one task done. <laughs> like I'm so for real. I'm over like giving so much of myself to, and not I'm not a people pleaser, but I'm saying like giving so much of myself to like other people and their lives. Yeah. Or, like even my job. Like I know that like hours wise, that's not really gonna change. But like right. the amount of effort in which I put in when I'm there. Like there's a, there's a point, right? I'm gonna do my task. I'm gonna do what I need to do to get it done. But like going the above and beyond like fuck it literally fuck it mm -hmm. because for what reason well and yeah i've said this literally my whole life and i've been trying to talk to my brother about this because he's going through a very similar thing at work where like they're working him even on saturdays and he's there till like 8 p.m on a weekday no and i'm like just no and i'm like was it in your position statement was it in your job offer was this outlined in like the contract that you signed the answer is no. So why the fuck are you doing it? Mm -hmm. And why have you not just been like, I'm not doing this? No, because because they're not going to fire you because like you're meeting the job requirement. They can't also, fire you for that. And also like, I mean, if they want to find someone else who wants to do that for free, but like go ahead, but it's not going to be me. No, like, that's her map. And also mm -hmm. they're never going to promote you for being the guy who comes in first and leaves last. They never will. They don't give a fuck. That's not nope. how the world works. Nope. And you learn that. You learn that yep. only after you have been the bootlicker yep. for years. And then you realize, hmm, everybody else in this bitch is moving up and I'm staying licking the fucking boots and not getting any like benefit recognition from it. not even a pound mm -mm. back no. like if anything i actually get my shit handed to me the day that i am lazy because Exa because it they stands out yes. because they're like wait are you why is she not like going above and beyond like she literally no you're setting the precedent and you're setting yourself up for failure no Do there's the bare minimum I'm there are some days at work like literally yesterday one of our, my regulars was like you know you haven't like been as happy recently and i literally looked at i him. haven't been happy ever I, w I literally <laughs> looked at him and i was like it's not that I'm not happy. It's that I'm like overworked and I don't care if your Miller Lite sits for a second at this point. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. And I don't, well, and it's like, I don't care to like fake it. Yeah. Like, sorry, I don't feel like talking to you anymore because I don't care. And yeah. like, I'm done with the creepy conversation. I'm yeah. done. Like, I, it's not my job to talk to you. Yeah. It is. It is to a point. Yeah. My job is to make sure that you have everything that you need mm -hmm. and you're satisfied. Right. Leaving here. But my job isn't to like make you feel good, validated through talking to you mm -mm. in that regard. Like, the, yeah, we're done. there's a lot of other professions to do that for you. Right. Like, and I'm just not one yeah. of them. And like, it's just it's OK. I'm, I My thing is like the end this year is it's OK to do some bare minimum shit. And that's yeah. OK, because if me doing bare minimum shit in other parts of my life that society says you should grind at makes me be better for me personally and the things that I actually want to achieve, then fuck it. Yeah, that's how I feel. Um, yeah. My out is fitness influencers giving nutrition advice i'm over it i'm overseeing it i've seen it way too much recently you could be an, a fitness influencer because you know what you're doing in the gym but that doesn't mean you know how to eat because also half of you are or you're educated properly on right it. or like, like have like your actual certification like if you were actually a dietitian yeah or like went to college because for it the thing about nutrition i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a quick little little education here because i actually wanted to go to dietetic school and i didn't so technically this would make me a nutritionist because a nutritionist isn't actually a degree yeah a nutritionist is people who have studied nutrition and like have an understanding of it and they are like well versed in it but you don't have to have any qualification to call yourself a nutritionist yeah at all it's like people who are like i'm a life it's self-proclaimed and it's like okay but are you a therapist they're like no and no I'm like okay well you, how are you okay, gonna help me? so you're just a friend like <laughs> literally no so like that's the thing so if you if you meet someone who calls himself a nutritionist like they might and they i think it's like even for me like i know a lot about nutrition 
but I'm not I'm not going to go on social media and tell you like what you should or shouldn't eat because I think that just creates an extremely unhealthy culture. And I saw something today on like um, a reel or TikTok. I don't remember which one. But this girl was like talking about what she eats in a day on her cheat days mm-hmm. and her cheat day. And like I was reading the comments and I was like, yeah, because her cheat day is somebody's like amazing day of eating. Right. And it made me mad because like. I understand what she's doing and I understand what she's saying. But to the person who's like trying to lose weight and to them, that's like their best day of eating. It makes them feel like shit. And now they're going to under eat more. And I don't like that. So I'm the opposite. And they're just like, well, fuck it. Like, I don't care. Like if this is her cheating and this is me at my best, why would I even try? Right. And like stick to what you know, if you're really good at the gym and you're really good at creating a workout plan and you're really good at showing people how to work out. Great. Stick but there. Even that I have very like pump the brakes. On I people do like that because I'm like, a, I don't know what the fuck you're putting in your body to achieve that look. Mm-hmm. And quite literally, most of them are on some shit. The people that you see online or who are like influencers it's massively genetics. They were already yeah. skinny. They so were already like, there. So yeah. Even people like that. I have like, you know, my like hesitation towards when they aren't actual like certified professionals as well, because I'm like, okay. And I could go tell you all this shit about ADHD and blah, blah, blah. That doesn't make me a goddamn doctor. Yeah. Like you shouldn't take my word for it. My thing is that I know (laughs) that there's still gonna be that content, right? So I can't, I can't say that. Like I can sit here and be mad about it. Right. But stick to your lane. Yeah. I think eating is a whole other beast. Like, yeah, if you want to show somebody how to do a hip thrust, yeah, be my guest outline it show Mm -hmm. them how to do it because that's one thing that actually really bothers me when i do go to the gym and i see people doing things incorrectly it makes me i want to go over there and help them right i'm like i feel so bad like i just want you to do i just want you to be better like this this one like if you did this Mm -hmm. it would actually help you get to where you want to be yeah or sir you're gonna break your back yeah i was because you're deadlifting at the very least you're gonna avoid injury you're (laughs) deadlifting but you're actually doing an rdl yeah and it's not gonna work for you babes Mm -hmm. so like i want to go over and help them with that so i'm here for the girlies and the men who are like actually outlining the workout, but stay away from like stay in your lane. Yeah. Stay in your lane. Yeah. That's how I feel about that. I agree. I think that like all of that shit is like just so ridiculous. Okay. I, uh, this will be my last two, like my last in and my last out Um, in bubble baths. And this has been an in my whole life, except this past year, I have not been able to take baths at all in my apartment because my hot water is bad Mm -hmm. um so 2024 my new place i have a tub and it's like i am making that a priority as part of my self-care routine to take a bath like once a week we're doing like an all-out bubble bath like candles bubbles like i'm gonna watch a show type vibe like it's going to be on in 2024 is the bubble bath season and maybe even a bath bomb here or there who knows fun and my out is This is funny because I did this this year for like a month. Um, Cold plunges and cold showers. Enough. (laughs) I'm sorry. Like I did that shit for a damn near month Mm -hmm. and it was helpful. But it was not like my life is changed and this is worth this pain. It's not. Take an ice bath if you hurt yourself or you're sore or you're in recovery. You don't need to take an ice pack to shock your nervous system to like make you perform at higher like outputs, whatever. Just sleep a bit longer. Walk a little bit get some fresh air like look like i don't know like there's so many other things that can achieve that in your life you don't need to torture yourself mm-hmm. i think that's it's like the the hurting yourself to feel better i'm just kind of like this is insane mm-hmm. so like yeah i'm out the cold punches the in the cold showers i'm like oh, we don't need to do that anymore i never did that it wasn't moved for me it was mine was literally just because i was like having to run every morning at like 5 30 before work and i was like needed to wake up mm-hmm. i'm like this is the only thing i can think of and it helps for that reason but it was also fucking horrible yeah it's miserable <laughs> it's miserable okay so my in is going on vacation alone and mm. i this year like i did this when i like studied abroad i actually would travel by myself sometimes and i fucking had the best time yeah and it wasn't like that i was going out and i was doing all the crazy things and i was experiencing it like that but like Going and just like seeing a place, doing it on my own time, doing whatever the fuck I wanted to do in the city that I was at. Like if I wanted to go to bed, I went to bed. If I wanted to wake up and go walk the city and have a coffee and romanticize my life that day, I did it. Like yeah. I, going out for a really nice dinner alone. I I want to do it again this year. Like, and honestly, like I do actually want to do a vacation with friends this mm-hmm. year. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Like going out just like 
having that like time yeah. as well with them and experiencing like my friendship away from Nashville. Yeah. But I really want to go on a vacation alone. Like even if it's for like just a long weekend. I feel that. Just do it myself. I don't really care. Mm -hmm. Just go have fun. No. I That's love my that. end this year. I love I just like traveling by myself too because I feel like traveling is the one thing that's like super stressful when other people are around because everybody has like a different anxiety Agenda, level yeah. or whatever like when traveling like even just like I'm talking like the plane the car like all that like I love a road trip alone mm -hmm. I fucking hate it with other people I hate it so much mm -hmm. I love flying alone mm -hmm. I cannot stand it when I'm in a group of us and we're like flying and like everybody's like because everybody's just so different mm -hmm. and it's like even like if you're like taking a train or something it's like i'm never gonna be that person that's like racing to get there like i'm like come on we gotta go like we gotta be the first person on the plane like group yeah. one even though we're in group six like let's stand up and like let's yeah. just wait around i'm like i'm just not that vibe mm -hmm. but i get some people are but when you travel alone it's like you can just be whatever vibe you need to be <laughs> literally like if i need to like hustle get great yeah. i can if not yeah oh well that's literally like when we were going to cabo we like took the wrong train and we're like no nope, whatever yeah <laughs> we, i'm like, like i don't care we're we just both, we <laughs> both didn't give a fuck and which yeah. was like nice like yeah, yeah, yeah. our traveling styles i feel like are pretty similar I think i'm just so like too. relaxed because yeah. like the whole time i didn't but I like never felt, i'm like, telling stressed. you if, if my dad was there oh my fuck it would have been the end of the world no we both were just like all right <laughs> <laughs> on to the other side of the airport now like, like we'll just do another lap whatever <laughs> <Yeah>. don't care <laughs> like we got time yeah. who cares no but for real. like should we stop at mcdonald's <laughs> it's like we boarding in like 10 minutes we're like we have time <laughs> <laughs> like no. what are they gonna do leave without they us? were boarding we're and the, we were, were like i'm like but we're in the last fucking group to board who cares yeah they literally <laughs> were boarding and we're like should we walk down to Sunglass Hut and see yeah. if they have sunglasses? <laughs> I'm like, you probably have time. Yeah. You were like, all right. I'm like, I'm going to go pee for the seventh time. Yeah, we're yeah. good. We're chilling. No. no, it was, which was actually good. But yeah. no, I feel that. I love doing shit alone. I love going to I concerts would, alone, going to the movies alone. I think the only thing about traveling alone that would be scary, just like as a woman, is if you were in like a foreign country and the language wasn't English. I that's feel like true. that for me, well, I would be a bit like, scared. I'm that's why I feel like I'd be cool to like travel with a friend, but mm -hmm. like a friend. Like I don't want to travel in a group of people because like it just ends up never being fun. Like well, and everybody two days has in, we're like, all like yeah at each other's necks. Yeah, I don't want that. And everybody has like things that they're trying to check off their list, and if it doesn't do that, then somebody's butt hurt or then like yeah seating situation. Like if three people sit together and then one person, it's just like oh, okay. No, my sister and I actually talked about. Uh, doing something just me and her mm -hmm. like going for like a me and my thing. mom did too i think we're gonna do like a new york trip this year yeah we actually we were talking about that too because it's like simple for my sister and mm -hmm. like it's close to home for me and stuff but like us just going to do it like without her husband me like well i don't have one but yeah <laughs> me without well i'm always alone uh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> but like <laughs> i don't know like i just like love my sister time with her and like mm -hmm. whatever so yeah that's in for me and then um I have a couple more outs, but we're I mean, gonna, we, we can you can rip. No, them it's off. okay. No, it's okay. We're just gonna pick one. Okay. <laughs> um, I like the outs. I think that's my favorite. Um, to me, I think it's not okay. I want to go with this one because like the less serious of the ones I have. Left. Okay. Um, not going the speed limit and breaking on the highway. Fuck you. Use your turn signals. What are you doing? Mm. I fucking hate when you're on the fucking highway and people are going 55 and the speed limit is 70. What are you fucking doing? Yeah. When we're merging onto the highway, pedal to the metal, buddy. Why are you, why are you going slow? Yeah. Why are you breaking also in the middle lane of the highway? Yeah. I would also say out is uh semi trucks. Yeah. On the highway. Yeah. Like America, why did we not have an alternate route like the way trains are, like where they take their own thing? Why did they drive on like the like the people's road? Mm. because why when i drive home it's only a two-lane highway and both lanes semi trucks are in or at least make it illegal for semi trucks to drive in the left lane yeah like it's ridiculous but yeah. I, I agree because the speed limit is like 75 for the majority of my way home so i mean logically i'm driving 90 and yeah. when a semi truck <laughs> is in the left lane going 68 yeah now you're dropping me back damn near 30 miles and this is pissing me the fuck no, off. No, I know. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Nashville, they have like probably the fastest drivers I've been around. Like people are And it's because racing. our speed limits here are so random. Like it will go, it will be 50 miles an hour on a highway, which also, is so slow. You're also not getting pulled over really here. For there that. is no police here. There is no police 
that are not on Broadway. It, yeah. There is no police anywhere else. And if you call the police, they don't give a fuck. They, no. sh- they, they will literally call you and be like, we'll get back to you in seven business it's a, days. It's being a city. It's being a city. <laughs> they, it's city vibes. They, like, and yeah, you speed on the highway. They're like, Ugh, don't care. They're like, they're speeding with you. Yeah. They're like, all right, bitch, I see you. You yes. have a place to be. Yeah. No. Uh, they, and it's not like I haven't seen people pulled over for it or like no people that have been pulled over. But I don't know a single person who's gotten a speeding ticket living here. I know. I know three people. I feel like people. I'm going to get one now. I know three people, but yeah, simply or have gotten pulled over, but not actually got a ticket. Yeah. But simply because it was like in an area that you shouldn't have been doing. Yeah. It. Like a residential or like a slower yeah. area. Yeah. 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 But yeah. like, no, I can't say when people are not going, going to speed limit, not using turn signals, breaking when they shouldn't be breaking. Yeah, bad drivers. Like out. out you're out. Goodbye. 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 Yeah, I agree. Take an Uber. Totally. Take the train. Totally. Bus. Ask a grandma. Mm-hmm. But if you if you were one of those people, I actually hate you. Yeah. So. I agree. And driving is one of the most dangerous things that you do every day. So. And I take it like it's not. Right. But like. I, I like pretend that I'm in Mario Kart do, every time too. I drive. I do. Uh, see, I, I don't really. But also like. I think it's because I'm on my back road anthem 2024. Like, mm. I'm just kind of cruising in the back road. So, like, I'm not really getting up to speed where I'd be, like, dangerous. But on my drive home, no, I was whipping, and it was bad. And on my drive back here, like, I was going really, really fast. <laughs> and, like... I was going really fast. But we so but fast. But in my car, since it's so tiny, like, you don't even realize how it fast happens. you It just happens. You start whipping. I look down, and I'm like, holy shit, I'm going 100 miles an hour. I'm, like, putting the brakes on. Like, Jesus Christ. It's like, no wonder everybody feels like they're driving, like, grandmas. I'm like, God damn it, hurry up. And I'm like, oh, no, they're just, like, going over the speed limit. You're just going 30 yeah, over the speed limit. Yeah, there's a difference. <laughs> obviously, like, obviously, there's, like, within yeah, yeah, parameters yeah, yeah. here. But, yeah, yeah. no, I'm... Mm. Yeah. But yes, I hope you guys had a great New Year's. I hope you guys have your goals and you're ready for 2024. I'm all going to be like, this is your year to change. Yeah. You do all your things, blah, blah, blah. But this because- might be like for some people just the year of flopping. And that's okay too. Because and- that was kind of my last year. Last year was uh, mostly a flop for me. But there were some things I really, but because of all the flopping, a lot of growth was had. That's what I'm saying. Like I thought you can find beauty in everything. Totally. You really can. So, you know. I just think that this year you should go for what you want. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if, if it's simply for growth, grow. Yeah. And that comes with flops. Get taller this year. (laughs) That's the goal. Get still. (laughs) Get those leg extension (laughs) surgery. Get it. Buy the Louboutin. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No, literally. I just feel like it's your year to make whatever you want. Yeah. And to not make it your bitch. But like not hold a st- like a massive standard is what I'm more or less yeah I like, I've, like, like it's not this in a realistic realm yeah like you can do what you want and be able to like achieve whatever you want but don't do it in like a way that's like you're setting yourself up for failure because I feel like that's what New Year's resolutions are is honestly setting much. yourself up for failure yeah so yeah that's and, what I think. And, yeah if you're gonna shoot for the stars then you'd need a fucking rocket ship bitch because you're not gonna get there off of like determination and like that goes away in two days yeah literally motivation this is like the whole thing like going to the gym whatever like motivation leaves you you have to like your perseverance is like what you need so yeah if it's something you're already not passionate about yeah the only thing that's gonna make you do it is if you pay a hundred dollars to sign up for a marathon and then you are so poor that you feel like you have to run it and you tell everybody on your podcast and that's the only reason i actually ran that shit because i did not enjoy the process the race itself fun the process really not that really not a good be. time um but i put it out in the world and i had to fall through because that hundred dollars was not coming back so i uh, yeah i don't know maybe tell the world and spend a hundred dollars for your biggest goal <laughs> if you want you it to come true i'm gonna say that oh yeah but the race itself yeah that was the initial like uh, that was like a lot for me at the time too that's okay yeah well, anyway, I hope you guys had a great New Year's. Have an amazing 2024. We are excited to bring you some fun content this year. Yep. Uh, we have some things in the works. We'll see how that goes. But we love you guys. And thank you guys for listening to another episode of Society of Seven. My name is Calvary K. You can find me at Calvary K on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. And I'm Emily. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube at Starnzy. Don't forget to follow the podcast on Instagram as well, where you can tell us all your 2024 ins and outs. We are at society97.pod. We're also on TikTok at society97pod, where I have made it a resolution to post three times a day if I have three times a day's worth of content to post.
(laughs) (laughs) Some weeks I feel like we might not have that many clips for each episode, but I'm going to try. And we also have our YouTube channel where we post every single Tuesday where I'm going to try to be a lot more consistent about posting. But, you know, that's also life. And, (laughs) And you can see the video version of the podcast every single Friday where you see our beautiful faces. So go over there. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. We love you. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.